It's the first land we've seen in 19 days. It is incredible what land smells like. It smells like herbs. It smells like sweet. Oh, it smells wonderful. Check this out right here. We got a beautiful sight. Where are we? Fatu Hiva. Hooks down, baby. Hooks down. Yeah. Our bottle of champagne. Very odd feeling having the boat still. I think it'll be even more weird once we go on land. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Whoa! Look at the view at our back. Pretty neat to see other people. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> on the boat and all ripen. It's called the Utopia banana. It's got apple in it. Hint of strawberry. Maybe some pear. Maybe some pear. It's the best banana on earth. And it's like firm. Going now, mm, these are so good. I'm gonna take my banana stick with me. It's a big stick. Score more bananas. Or some mangoes. I've been going up giant hills for probably two and a half hours now. You guess it's a chili pepper? A bite. Oh shit, it's hot. I thought it didn't focus. It focuses? The mark cases are very ringy. One of the problems we have living on a boat is the constant battle to get fresh water. We have a desalination plant to make fresh water out of salt water. Sometimes it rains and we collect a lot of rain. Buckets and buckets of rain. but we decided not to because of the weather. The water has turned uh, chocolate brown. We have more coconuts than I've ever seen floating by. The water is nasty. It smells like earth. And these little beautiful trickle of waterfalls have turned into raging torrents. The amount of stuff in the water is completely and utterly outrageous. Beautiful and disgusting shockingly crazy. The town must be just floating. One of those days! <laughs> We're just pulling up anchor in beautiful Marquesas and... It was uh, really difficult getting up. I was worried we were wrapped around coral. And I got it this far and it seems that we've hooked Hook someone else's anchor pretty bad because it's not in yet. Like we still have 20 meters down there. So it's actually kind of maybe a problem. <laughs> okay, what now? We could attach our halyard to it and pull it up that way. This is a first for us. Yeah, this is a first. If I take this line and this line and try and roll it off. What do you think? We can just get the slack off the cheek. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Ah! I think we got it. It fell to the ground. <laughs> that's a big right. anchor, man. What do you got? Like we uh, caught an anchor. At... Oh, another anchor? The rescue squad came. Here, we'll pull it off <laughs> for you. How's it off? There they are. There they are. Oh, they're everywhere. We're just off the coast of. Where are we? Nikahima. A little windy today. You notice that our mainsail has kind of broken a little bit more. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Let's see if I can get up here. See, it should be connected to this this car right here, but it's not. I think we're gonna have to buy a new one in Tahiti. 
There's a bunch up here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. Sun's shining for a change here in Nukuhiva. And I've already been to the fruit market, which started about 4.30 in the morning. I had precisely three vegetables, eggplant, cucumbers, and green beans. I bought them all. I went back to shore to get some uh, baguette. Mm. For, for two people. Should be about enough for a day or so. But we love the French islands so far. Later, we're hoping to hit up a French Polynesian show that they're putting on for Mother's Day. <laughs> Diesel, gas oil, petrol, whatever you want to call it. Here, the gas station is not going to let us pull in with a big boat, so we have to jerry can it. It's a lot of work getting diesel with jerry can. I'm ready. So it was 159,000. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Diesel mission accomplished. I think that only took two hours to fill. Probably eight jerry cans. Our friend's buddy's boat, Greg, got munched under the dock while we were waiting. Oh, that took a beating. Oh no! I almost punctured it. Price was 160 bucks. We're ready for the two mochis. I think we're gonna leave in maybe probably about four or five days. That's where the kiteboarding will begin. So we're pretty excited. Okay, ready? Yeah. Operation dinghy drop. <laughs> Today was a pretty rough day. Big winds and shit. Broke a few things as well. It was a 